Push the button. Come on, push the button. Yeah, come on, push the button. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. So the verdict uh, was handed down in the Breonna Taylor case as such as it is. It is one endangerment, which is right above hunting without a license. It was interesting um, that uh, Daniel Cameron, who is the uh, first black attorney general of the state of Kentucky, spent more time explaining basically himself and explaining the things that affected him rather than to tell us what happened. Uh, he talked about how th there are going to be celebrities who've never lived in Kentucky who will make judgments. Oh, uh, really? Is the, is the predicate that you have to live somewhere to make a judgment? Did Sean, does Sean Hannity uh, live in any of the places that he derides? Does Donald Trump live in Seattle or Kenosha or Los Angeles or any of the states that they deride? Did Kyle Rittenhouse live in Wisconsin when he went there and murdered people? So is that the predicate? Don, Daniel Cameron spent more time uh, giving a speech than, he, than those officers will do in time. The more things change, the more they stay the same. And I will say this, Judas sold out, uh, Judas Iscariot sold out Jesus Christ for 30 talents of sin silver and Daniel Cameron did it for $12 million. And I'm telling you, you can say whatever you want to say. Any elected official, particularly the first one who is the attorney general of a particular state has higher aspirations. If all aspirations die, uh, rely on keeping the population, the people that put him there, uh, pleased. How unpleased would they be had they decided to indict these officers? It was a placatory gesture given to us in blackface, and we're supposed to take it. I knew that this would be the case. When, that, when I saw that dude shining at the RNC, I knew what would happen. I knew what would happen. This is a black woman whose life was taken. We saw people wear T-shirts. Uh, we saw people march. We saw athletes talk about it. It was on social media. The world talked about it. And they still did what they did. You ever notice how uh, black people are always the number one suspect in their own demise? And we're supposed to, he talked about the, uh, the, the uh, uh, grand jury being a jury of our peers. You know why? They're in secret because they know they're not. They're in secret because they know they'll do things to preserve this, this air of right supremacy that they're not going to be popular explaining. They do it in secret because they know that's how they keep this thing this way. It was given to us with a black face. And what makes me the saddest, the saddest of all, is that all of this, this woman was on Vanity Fair. Do you know how many accomplished black women can't get on Vanity Fair? How many people have, 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 have lived lives and can't get on Vanity Fair? She was on Vanity Fair because of the way her life was taken and it did not matter. It didn't matter that the world was watching. It didn't matter what people thought. It didn't matter that people marched. It didn't matter that they screamed. It didn't matter that they did it peacefully. It didn't matter at all because this was, this die was cast from the moment, the moment she was born and the moment those officers swore and picked the badge up. This already was going to happen. One of the police officers said that in, a, in an email a little while ago, about a week ago, that they had did the ethical and moral thing because it is ethical and moral to shoot into a house and murder a black woman or murder anybody. This is the constant thing. This is the more things change, the more they stay the same. What makes me sad is that we have not found a way to protect our women. It is our constant burden and it is a constant slap in the face. You could be home like both of them, John. You could be home like a Tatiana Jefferson. You could be home like Breonna Taylor and they can still take your life with nobody being pot to account for it. And do not anybody tell me about how black on black crime because those black men who kill other black people, they don't have a system in place to protect them. They don't have a system in place that looks the other way while they do what they do. They are oftentimes tried and jailed. This man probably would do very little time. And this district attorney who acts like it was only in the pursuit of justice that he was after, it is not. He clearly had a political agenda. And that agenda is to be governor and possibly even higher officers. And you don't do that by giving black people justice. You know it. I know it. And he knows it. Now, I can't tell you what is in his heart, but I can tell you what is in his action. I can say this, that Daniel Cameron... Uh, I, I hope that you get everything you want. I hope that the marriage that you just had and consummated lasts a long time. I hope it bears you many children. I hope you have the career that you want. I hope that they live long, healthy lives. And I hope that nothing ever happens to one of those black children. And I pray, pray that if something does, that they don't look to a man like you for justice.